Hi, two Total War boss. Back again for another battle. This time it's a 2v2. Yeah, um, my first 2v2 I'll be showing. Now, I am the SPQR Romans. My ally, Pontus. Well, he is Pontus. His name is Alexander. And I'm becoming quite popular in the Game Ranger community. Now, I was going to do a co-commentary with Alexander here. But I needed to get some of these battles out of my save list, so... I think I'll have plenty more battles with him to show. This one wasn't that great anyways, but it was definitely worth a watch. So, let's start with my the breakdown of my army. Front ranks, I have three legionary cohorts. Behind them, I have six urban cohorts. Upgraded gold attack, silver defense. The rules for this battle were CWB, 15k a player. Now my cav force consists of gold attack, Praetorian cavalry, and there's four of them. Okay, and now my ally, Alexander, has six scythe chariots. The reason he brought the chariots was because our opponents were trash talking in the lobby and they were saying how good they were and they'd seen my first video and it didn't look like that good of a victory but whatever and he told us from the beginning he was going to have a lot of cataphracts a lot of cataphracts even though CWB he only did end up bringing six but whatever so then my ally has four uh... gold gold I think yeah let me pause this here so Nothing happens, but the action happens pretty quick. Six archers, gold attack. Now, the opponent I'm squaring off against. In the front ranks, he has silver shield legionnaires, six of them. Behind them, he has silver shield um, legionaries, six of them. Behind them, he has one of these peltists. Okay, two peltists. And behind them, he has five. Okay, he brought five cataphracts. And for his general, he has a general's armored bodyguard. Okay, now, my the enemy facing off against my ally. Just a quick breakdown here. I think he has upgrades on here. Yeah, I think he has one experience chevron, bronze attack, bronze defense. And then he has five Spartans besides his general unit. He has six armored hoplites, no experience on them. Six green archers, again, no experience, so just let me get this battle going again. And I am developing a very good relationship with the ally who who is currently on my team, Alexander. And we have been playing a lot of battles. And I can hear myself talk, uh, because I have a turtle beach. And I can hear my mic bleeding out, so sorry for that, but... Whatever. So we decided to march as Cappadocians. And I was bringing over two of my quicker Praetorian cavalry. And we were using strategy very well. I told him, let's work off each other's army's weaknesses. I had a lot of infantry, he had no infantry. I had no archers, he had a lot of archers. So it all worked out. We were talking on Skype, by the way. And if anybody wants to challenge me to talk on Skype, then I'll probably accept it. So, he brought up some Peltist. So, realizing that my opponent has a lot of cataphracts, he brought over three Scythe Chariots to aid in my conquest against the Solicits. Now, the the solicit player was trying to get behind the Greek player, but the Greek player marched forward and decided to do a very desperate attack. So I decided to protect my allies' archers, who were a very valuable asset, and they are literally mowing down my opponent's troops. So I 
ran my infantry over to defend his archers in any way I could. So, I'm killing some of uh, the Greek guys' archers, my Praetorians. Now, to delay his cataphracts, he sent in two units of these side the chariots to delay them so I could get my army in line. And I can't really tell what he's doing here. But over here, chariots routed, and he got caught up in my men. Good for me, bad for him. At this point, I decided to launch peel at those cataphracts. And they actually did start to eat shit. He's bringing in more side chariots, who then ran amok. And you, you'll see what happens next. Totally rail my men. So I had all the infantry in this fight. I'm launching Pila. All my Pila. Just trying to kill as, as many as possible. Before I actually have to get my hands dirty and get in there. So I launched a legionary cohort to delay these. And now I'm starting to launch my army slowly. Throwing as much Pila as possible. I'm gonna gang up on these units. He's ganging up on my units. He's going, the Greek player's going for my allies' archers, but his archers are way too fast. Look at this. Meanwhile, while he's going for the Cappadocians, these guys are getting mowed down by my allies' archers. So we did work off each other's weaknesses, which was a very good strategy. Now, my opponent's going all in. And I'm holding back this horde of two armies with my one army for as long as I can. And I think one of my legionnaires is routing. Yeah, legionnaires, whatever. And I am hammering and ambling here. That was a very heavy attack. But the Spartans are resilient. And they did not route. So I just locked them in here to delay him. Now I hammer and these guys too. Killed his general. Now his general men are starting to rout. His men know their doom approaches. And it won't be long until I win this front on the very right here. My opponent launched some of his chariots in here, which will knock down my men, not kill them as they're not running them up. But look at that, clearing a path right down. And then they get halted by a mysterious force. Look at that, massive rout. And again, I'm delaying his men here. But look at that. I routed them with my cab head on. No tricks or anything. Seeing this mass route, I had to assume that some troops were going to come back. So I withdrew it a lot. I knew that these guys couldn't take on three units of Spartans single-handed. But I had to kill these units and make sure that they weren't coming back. But that is a massive route. This battlefield is littered. Now this is all my opponents. Well, not really. A lot of this infantry is because of my opponents. Not my opponent, my allies' archers. He got more scythe chairs. They are running amok, and I don't even know what happens here. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers. Yeah. Only frightened rabbits so running this. from our men. He could be running in and attacking these guys, but he's going to chase the archers. And my guys are losing, but they are holding back the Spartans long enough for the rest of my army to get back. And... My opponent was going to give me some aid here. I believe, yeah. Look at that. All of our cab just coming straight in. Cappadocians first, followed by my Praetorians more of my infantry and more of his Cappadocians. Now he's not even using these guys. He's not even activating them. They're just sitting there on standby. Or whatever. But this battlefield was very, very one-sided. Like, this wasn't a battle. This was a one-sided beatdown. And so much for my opponents being no amazing, be the best people on Game Ranger. 
great gods be praised. Yeah, well, that definitely showed. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy. And a lot of chariots are dead here. The enemy are utterly beaten. Yeah, they are utterly this is a beaten. Crushing victory. Worthy of a great general. You can see a lot of my guys here, but they're they're mostly legionnaires. Now I'll let you read the results yourself. And I did like Warrior 666 before. I mean, he might still be cool now, but whatever. He likes to trash talk. And I, we deployed much less men. And we won. So I'll see you in my next battle, which I will be recording soon.